SAS Demonstration Intro Array. This demonstration introduces arrays and how they can be used to simplify data step tasks. The data set we're using for this demonstration comes from an example in the little SAS book. So I am creating a data set called Ratings and I'm reading in five observations from five different cities of ratings of songs for a radio station. So each observation is a person who is going to rate 10 different songs that are played on that particular radio station. And the ratings are as follows. If the person gives the rating a 1, that means that the person would change the station when the song comes on. If the person gave the song a rating of 5, that would mean that the person would turn up the volume as loud as they could because they just love that song. And if the respondent gave a rating of 9, that would indicate either no comment or didn't know the song that was being played. So we're first of all inputting the city that the respondent was from, the respondent's age, and then these are abbreviations for the 10 songs that were played at that radio station. And then we are just going to print out our data set ratings. So let's first of all take a look at the printout. And we see here these are the five observations and their ratings. And notice that for some of these songs, the respondent did not know the song or had no comment about whether he or she liked the song or not. So the first thing we're interested in doing is changing all the nines to missing values. And we could do this with if-then statements, as we've done in the past. However, in this demonstration, we are going to use an array to change these nines to missing values. So we are going to have an array statement that defines an array called song. And it has 10 variables, and the 10 variables are the 10 songs that were read into the data set ratings. And then we are going to have a do and loop. And so the do and loop is going to iterate 10 times for each of the 10 songs. And so it's going to process one song at a time, and if that song equals 9, then we're going to set that song equal to missing. And so if we were to go through this loop and we say do i equals 1 to 10, and note that the indexing variable can have any name. We could call it i, we could have called it index, so we could have said do index equals 1 to 10. doesn't make a difference. The first time we go through the loop when i equals 1, it's going to be as if we're saying if song of 1, which is the same as the variable d-o-m-k, equals 9, then song of 1 equals missing. Or as if we were saying, then d-o-m-k equals missing. And then we go through the loop a second time. This time we will be processing the song that's abbreviated w-j. And so we will go through this loop 10 times to process each of these 10 songs. And then we are going to print out our new data set songs. So let's run this data step and print out our new data set songs and see what it looks like. So here we see our five observations and now instead of seeing nines for songs where the respondent had no comment or didn't know the song, these nines have been set to missing. I want you to notice that none of the array names are on this output data set. So we don't have an array name song of i on this output data set. However, notice that the indexing variable appears on the output data set. So we now have a new variable on our data set called i because that was the name of the indexing variable. Also notice that the value of i is 11. Now why would the value of i equal 11? So let's go back and look at our program. The reason the index variable i takes on the value of 11 is because i goes through the loop 10 times and the last time it's incremented from i equals 10 to i equals 11 and at that point when i equals 11 SAS no longer goes through this do and loop and it outputs that observation to the data set. 
So again, when we read in an observation, for that particular observation, we're doing this do and loop 10 times for the 10 songs that the respondent had a comment or a review of that particular song. And then when the i equals 11, we then output that data set because at 11, we are no longer going to go through that do loop. Now in this last example, I'm also creating a data set songs. So I'm actually rewriting over the previous data set songs. But this time, instead of writing over the old variables and replacing the nines to missing, I'm going to create a new variable for each song. So we are going to have the old song DOMK and then we are creating a new variable song1 which is the same information as our first variable DOMK except for song1 we are going to replace the 9 to missing. So the new variable is going to have the 9's replaced but the old variable is going to keep the original information. So in our do loop and here notice I'm using the variable name index instead of i, I'm saying that if old index equals 9, then new index equals missing. And that's the same as if saying if DOMK equals 9, then song 1 equals missing. If WJ equals 9, then WJ equals missing. And that happens when index equals 2. Otherwise, the new index equals the old index. So we're setting song 1 equal to DOMK unless DOMK equals 9. Otherwise we're just setting it equal to the value of DOMK. And similarly if index equals 2 we would be doing it for the song WJ. Now notice I'm using this symbol hyphen hyphen and that tells SAS to include all the variables that were read into the original data set ratings from DOMK all the way to TTR, so all 10 songs. And then finally, before the observation is outputted to our data set, I'm calculating the average score, which is going to be the mean of song 1 to song 10. So let's run all this code and take a look at our output. So here we have our new data set songs. So it has all of the variables from the original data set ratings with the nines. And then it has our new variables that we created, song 1 all the way to song 10. And then we have that index variable that automatically gets put on our data set. And then we have our average score. And what's nice is because we converted the nines to missing, when we calculate our average score, we have the mean of the non-missing songs for this data set. This concludes the demonstration, Intro to Arrays.